everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I'm really excited because I made an e.l.f. order on December 9th, the first day this product was released, is I have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. So this is brand new. I'm going to try this on for you and give you a first impression. I also ordered the new e.l.f. Lash It Loud. This is the travel size mascara. I also ordered the e.l.f. This is all e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. So at the end of the video, I'm going to take everything off and show you how this works. And then I got two free items. The website will let you choose two items. I got the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick and the e.l.f. Crease Blending Brush. So we're going to be trying out all these products today and mostly focusing on the CC cream because I feel like this is like something people really want to know about. But yeah, we're going to try everything out and see how it goes. But if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to like and subscribe and definitely keep watching. Okay, so here is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. So this is, you know, part of the Camo line. They have the Camo Concealer. So I thought it was really cool that they came out with a CC Cream. And this product has 20 different shades and it retails for $14, which is a little pricey for e.l.f. And honestly, this looks a little, I was expecting bigger for some reason because like it, uh, cosmetic CC cream is it's like a lot bigger container, but it's still not small. But this claims to be medium to full coverage. It has SPF of 30, and it says it has a natural finish. What's interesting about the CC cream, it has skincare benefits. So it's supposed to be hydrating and youth boosting and a lot of good ingredients, which some of the key ingredients are collagen to help improve skin elasticity, hydrolonic acid to provide hydration by locking in moisture for plumped and bouncy complexion, and niacinamide to brighten and even out skin tone, and then there's also peptides to refresh. So this has a lot of claims and it's really good for your skin. So I picked the shade Fair 120 Neutral. And I'm worried this is gonna be too light on me. Um, I mean, maybe it will work. It was kind of tricky to shade match on their website. The shades looked a lot darker in the photos. So we will see, but on Elf's website, if, like, I bought it on Elf's website, if you buy the wrong shade, of any of their foundations or concealers you have 30 days from your purchase date to request a refund they do not do exchanges or returns on any of their products but they will refund you if you got the wrong shade of a complexion product i'm going to try this side with the elf uh blending sponge and this side with the elf ultimate blending brush. So we'll see which side I like better. But first I am going to prime with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because that's what the website says that to pair it with. And normally I have um, more normal skin, but I don't know with the face masks that I'm wearing at work, I, what, I don't know, those heavy duty face mask. I notice I'm getting a lot of dryness like around here because I don't know if it's because of the masks, I don't know. So we'll see if it moisturizes those dry patches or if it makes it stand out. Okay, so I'm gonna pump out a little bit of this foundation, which it has a pump. It's a squeeze bottle with a pump, very similar to the It Cosmetics. So this is a full pump right here. Right off the bat, I don't know, it looks a little light, but we will see. Um, it is more of a thicker consistency, I would say more moussey, which is fine, it doesn't bother me. And we'll see. It does look a little light, but I am pretty fair right now. We'll just go with that for now, and I will add more if I need more.
So far it looks really good. It's a little light, but I feel like I could pull it off, especially after I bronze and stuff. And I feel like with one layer, it definitely evened out my skin tone, but you can still see through it. It definitely, it looks like skin, I feel like. And I would agree with the natural finish. Let me just add a little more, see how it builds. Okay, here's the second layer. I feel like I could see a little bit of a dew, but nothing like too sticky or tacky. And over my dry patches, I think it looks fine. Like it didn't like emphasize anything or cling to any dry skin. So that is good. Okay, let's see how it looks on this side with the brush. I'm assuming I'm gonna get more coverage. And this e.l.f. Um, ultimate Blending Brush is only $6 and it's really good. And it is an ultimate blending. You can use it for like cream bronzer or blush or whatever, you know, foundation. I thought I got decent coverage. You can still see quite a bit of redness in my nose. We'll see if I could add, and I only did one pump. So this is one pump on my entire face. Okay, so here we go. I definitely feel like it's a little more dewy on the side I use the sponge because I added more moisture. Um, there's a little bit of tack on my face. For me, I would like to set this down, but I usually like to set down most foundations. But so far, so good. I wouldn't say this is like a full coverage product though. I'm definitely getting more light to medium coverage because you can still see a lot of spots and stuff. But that is okay with me because whatever my um, base, my foundation product doesn't cover, I like to cover with concealer. So I am going to use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Look, I use quite a bit of this. And this is in the shade Fair Beige because it does recommend using the Camo Concealer with it. I almost feel like this is darker than the foundation. And I'm just gonna go over any spots it didn't cover. Then I'm just gonna blend that out really quick. Okay, that seemed to blend over the CC Cream Good. And I'm gonna set everything down with my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which I love this stuff, I really do. The powder seemed to go over pretty nice. So far, I have no complaints. I'm gonna bronze with my e.l.f. Sun Kissed, Forever Sun Kissed Bronzer. And then I'm gonna blush with my e.l.f. Always Rosy uh, Primer Infused Blush with my e.l.f. Blush Brush. And I'm gonna go on a little highlight, my Fenty Beauty Metal Moon Highlighter. Set everything down with Iconic London. I do have this new brow product. It's the Micro Ink um, Brow Stylus from L'Oreal in the shade Brunette. I know this video is not about this, but I'm actually really enjoying this. Okay, so now I wanna try out the crease brush and the e.l.f. shadow stick. And I'm just gonna add some of this bronzer into my crease. I would say this brush is like a little on the smaller side, so it'll probably be good for like hooded eyes. And it is soft, but it's a little floppy. Okay, so here is the e.l.f. smudge. I know this is not a new product, but I do believe they do. They did come out with new shadow sticks and the new packaging, the color, whatever color the shadow stick is, is the color of the packaging is really cool. So, but this does have the color at the bottom. So here it is right there. It's in the shade Bronze Metal. This is just gonna be kind of like a one and done eyeshadow look. I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. So far, it feels really creamy. Definitely a huge difference in the AOA shadow sticks, really creamy. And I just wanna take a brush and kind of blend it into my crease. No, not bad at all for a one and done shadow look. And I'm gonna take some of my lower lash line I don't know, I, I like it. I like the formula a lot. The shade is very like neutral, wearable, everyday. So, 
not bad. I'll just ha definitely have to look into, I want to look into the new shadow sticks they have because they have some really pretty colors. I am going to pop on some of my Hank and Henry liquid liner real quick. Okay, so now we are going to try the Lash It Loud Mascara. This is the travel size for $4. The full size is $6. So honestly, for $2 more, you could just get a full size. But I don't know. I just thought to get the smaller size. And this is supposed to be more of a volumizing mascara. I don't think I've ever tried an e.l.f. mascara. But I didn't hear too many good things about their past mascara, so hopefully this is a winner. So the packaging is very cute, very sleek. And here is the brush. It's more of a spiky, like rubber, rubber bristle brush. I usually prefer a natural bristle, but we will see how it does. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of product on the brush. Okay. That seemed to do something. It really combs through and gets like every single lash. I feel like it's doing that much for my lashes. My bottom lashes look really good. It really separated them and I feel like it get, gets every lash. Let me get, add one more layer to the top. Okay, that other layer definitely helped out. I don't know, I don't think it's a terrible mascara but I'm just not overly impressed, honestly. So here it is. I mean, my lashes do look pretty and they do look very separated and they definitely like added a lot of pigment. They look darker. It's just, I don't feel like they're super, they didn't give me a ton of volume. Not terrible, just not my favorite. I am going to pop on some lipstick real quick. This is my ColourPop tea time. Okay, before I take you into the bathroom and take everything off with the new makeup melting cleansing balm, I just want to give you my final thoughts on the CC cream. I feel like my skin does feel a little hydrated and it definitely, I feel like it's, the claims are true. It's more of a natural finish. I wouldn't say it was too dewy or too matte. I do feel like I see a little bit of glow, a little bit of radiance coming off my skin. And I feel like it does give decent coverage. My skin doesn't look too makeup-y either. I think it looks really good. I have to say my skin looks nice. It looks like skin. I like it. And mascara, it's okay. I could I could leave it though. I, it's not a must-have. And the shadow stick, if you like the type of one and done uh, cream shadow sticks, I think it's great. I thought it was creamy. I thought it did the job. Now, I'm going to take everything off to see how this works. Okay, welcome to my bathroom. Okay, being in my bathroom light, I think the mat foundation matches really good actually. So I don't think I need to do a refund or anything like that. 120 fair neutral seems to be a good match for me. Okay. So here is the Elf Cl Hi Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm with Hyaluronic Acid, Ceramides, and Peptides. So this product retails for $10 and it does come with a little spatula. And Elf did come out with new like um, skincare products and a cleansing line. And on the website, it does recommend that you double cleanse when you're using this. And it says, scoop out a dime-sized amount of product with the included spatula, massage onto dry skin, moisten fingertips, and continue to massage onto the skin using circular motions and watch your makeup melt away. Rinse, rinse with warm or remove with a warm, damp cleansing cloth. And it does say to double cleanse. So here's the product right here. And it does look like a solid bomb. And once you rub it into your face, it's supposed to turn more into like an oil. And I am a fan of cleansing bombs. I enjoy the Pons cleansing bomb. I've tried the Pharmacy. I've tried the Clinique. And I've also tried the Physician's Formula. Oh, and also the Ulta brand. Ulta brand, I wasn't a huge fan of that one. But I do like cleansing bombs. So hopefully this is a winner. And you do get two ounces of product. But $10 isn't that cheap, but I took like that much. 
but the pens is over ten dollars and so is the physician's formula even the alta brands so cleansing balms aren't super cheap either but this is a, is a lot cheaper like than the pharmacy one or the clinic so we have this amount and we'll see if we could get it all off right away it like instantly turned into an oil and there is a light fragrance but it isn't too strong i almost feel like i use too much product i'm definitely a little goes a long way with this okay this is a messy part It really melted that off. Let's go over the eyes now. Wow. Honestly, the product is going a long way. It looked crazy. And it said you could moisten your fingertips to work it in some more. Really work it in if you have heavy makeup. I mean, I literally just put makeup on and it seems to be coming off really good. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Okay, so I didn't double cleanse yet. I didn't, I'm, I am gonna cleanse, but I just wanted to let you know how my skin feels. It does not feel greasy at all. Honestly, like if you're in a hurry, I don't even feel like you need to double cleanse because it took majority of my makeup off. My skin does, it feels clean. It doesn't feel stripped or it just, I don't know. It feels great, not oily, nothing. I'm a huge fan of that. I think I even used too much. I could probably get away with using less product and getting all my makeup off. So I just double cleansed using my Noxzema and I just wanna do one final test. I'm gonna take a toner and put it on a pad to see if I have any residue makeup left behind. Let's try just the inner. The inner part, no makeup. I think it did pretty good. Okay, that is it guys. Um, So far, out of the products that I tried, the only product I'm not too impressed with was the mascara, but everything else to me was a really good, really good. I had no problems. Um, I thought the CC cream was good. I really enjoy this. Um, and the shadow stick was nice. So if you guys tried any of these products, I would love to know your thoughts on the product. And that is it, I guess. But I'm gonna leave it at that. And I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. And I will see you guys soon. All right, bye.